My name is Turkish. Funny name for an Englishman, I know. My parents to be were on the same plane when it crashed. That's how they met. They named me after the name of the plane. Not many people are named after a plane crash. That's Tommy. He tells people he was named after a gun. But I know he was really named after a famous 19th century ballet dancer. I've known him for as long as I can remember. He's my partner. That doesn't mean we hold hands or take windy walks. What it really means is I try to keep him out of as much trouble as he inflicts on me. I give him a hard time, keeps him in check. But really, he's like my brother. What do I know about diamonds? I'm a boxing promoter. I was a happy boxing promoter until a week ago. And then, what do I know about diamonds? Don't they come from Antwerp? Jaime, would you listen to this? Do we have a choice, eh? A lot of it wasn't meant to be taken literally. It's a nice story, Adam and Eve. It's bound with moral fiber for asking a grown man to believe it. I track you. What is it? Well, what is it? What do you want I should do? Drop my pants? Okay, go through. It's a nice story. Mood. It's just that. Just a story. Hectolic religion is best on a mistranslation. Oi, enough already. Ruben, will you say something? Listen to this. Are you busy? I'll tell you the whole story. The Septuagint scholars mistranslated the Hebrew word for young woman into the Greek word for virgin. It was an easy mistake to make because there was only a subtle difference in the spelling. So they came up with a prophecy, we hope the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. You understand this? It was a virgin that caught people's attention. It's not every day a virgin conceives and bears a son. Stone. Oh. Where is the stone? Oh. Where is the stone? Michael, where is the stone? 